Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do another reading for September. Um, this is going to be you and the other person. So you pick a side, whatever side is you, whatever side is the other person. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. It may not resonate the day that you watch it, watch it later. Um, be optimistic, take what resonates and leave the rest. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we got for Leo? Sun, moon, rising in Venus for September. This is, you know, this is whoever you're thinking about, okay? Whoever you're thinking about. You're thinking about somebody right now, okay? So, Leo, what do we got? What do we have for Leo? You know, everything happens for a reason. Sometimes you need to wait for things. You know, this reading is a, like, I don't know, maybe I did my last segment, you know, my last reading for this segment, maybe, what, five, five days ago, I'm guessing? I'm not sure. There's a big gap, okay? A big gap because I've been, bu I've been busy, very, very busy. But the message I hear is, you know, the best things come to those who wait. And it's hard to wait, right? You get frustrated when you have to wait. But waiting is a necessary evil it really is it's not even an evil because the best things truly come to those who wait give your relationship a chance work on your partnership we'll figure out what that means here in a minute um, I also feel like children, children, your love life is being affected by children in some way. So keep that in mind. Um, maybe you need to work on your partnership with your children. Maybe that's what your focus should be right now. Maybe your children need you. What do we have for Leo? Ooh, false sense of security. This is your necessary evil. Huh. Okay, so we have somebody here that is feeling insecure and they're, they may be trying to build the foundation when something else needs to fall down first, something else needs to crumble, maybe they need to move. Um, there's some level of instability here that needs to be rectified. You know, you need to find your own stability before you can build something bigger. Now, this is unrealistic over here. This is being dissatisfied. There's no more growth. There's somebody over here that may be unreasonable. You may be dealing with somebody that's unreasonable or somebody that is unrealistic. We're going to keep going over here. Maybe this is somebody that you lived with before, but this is this could also be moving home. This could be, you know, some sort of relocation over here. This is the sword of truth. It's the sword of communication. It's the sword of power. So it's like somebody has the power. Somebody knows the truth. Um, this person... This person may be dissatisfied with a move. Okay, this person may be dissatisfied. Um... And this is dissatisfaction as well. So uh, there's, there's... I think there's... There's two levels of dissatisfaction here. This is, is, fulfillment is coming. Deep fulfillment is coming, but you need to rebuild. Somebody needs to rebuild from the ground up. You could be dealing with somebody who is hindering you in some way. Ooh, so Leo, I'm wondering if this side is you. This is somebody that needs to restrain themselves. Somebody that needs to heal still. Somebody that needs to find their confidence and their willpower to restrain themselves in some way. From you know, Trying to rebuild a false foundation doesn't work out. 
So if we have somebody here that may be trying to rebuild something that isn't meant to be, it's, it's not. With the, this is a universe card. And they may be trying to rebuild it because of the stability reasons. You know, maybe this person over here makes them feel stable or something like that. Um, yeah, somebody is trying to rebuild something with somebody that is not well suited for them. Okay, that's what that is. Okay, that's what that is. So it's like I'm trying to rebuild something. I don't have the strength to uh, restrain myself. It's like this person feels weak. This person is, is, it's like they're holding on to something that is not well suited for them. This person may have doubts that they can do it alone, or they may have doubts that wish fulfillment were, will ever come. So they may be letting their, you know, letting or thinking that getting themselves back into a false sense of security is, is going to work out. But that's false. Okay, that is false. The very first card. Okay, um, this is, this is not knowing how strong you are. Somebody may not know how strong they are. They may not have the self-esteem and the self-confidence to uh, wait for the real deal. This person's clinging to the memories of the past, making a poor, poor decision, okay? This person may be confused. This person over here, this person is thinking about the family. And, and maybe that's why children came up. It's like, maybe we should stay together for the children. Stop, please. You know, I... I feel like this person over here is making a poor decision, making a poor decision, wanting to uh, stay in a false sense of security, you know, maybe because they just don't have the strength to uh, face their fears or to do it on their own. They, they're lazy or something like that. Hard work pays off. Take put in effort to be successful, to make better choices. Don't don't put in effort to rebuild something that isn't meant to be, okay? Um we have somebody over on this side that really needs to find their strength. That really needs to, you know, wait. Wait for your wish fulfillment to come. Deep fulfillment will come when you find the strength to take care of yourself. Don't get yourself involved with somebody who isn't well suited for you just because you don't want to be alone. You know, that's what I feel like this is. I feel like over here we have somebody here that this person may be abusive. This person um, may be cold. Okay, this person may be cold. This person may be dealing with somebody else. This person um, may be giving their attention away to somebody else. They may be have they may have this new idea. I'm going to find somebody else. They're dissatisfied with this situation. This person, I believe, is opening up. This person doesn't care who they hurt. I think that this person right here is is wanting to rebuild a foundation with this person who maybe they lived with. It's like this is somebody that they may have. Uh, built something with in the past this person is um investing their time and energy in somebody else by the looks of things this person is looking for love this person um i believe this person is opening up to somebody else this person is is basically hoping that this person will change, this person will invest, this person will do something, you know, do something differently. But this person, I feel like this person over here has got a new opportunity. Um, yeah, this person has a new opportunity. Could be, this person is moving in a new direction. This person is moving. This person is in the master, is, is the master of their emotions. This person, um, 
is focused on a brighter future. Something has arrived into this person's life. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Something has arrived in the, and this person is thinking about accepting it. So I feel like this person over here is putting in effort with somebody that they are not well suited for because they're, they're, it's almost like this person doesn't have self-confidence, doesn't have uh, self-esteem, and they may be holding on for the children they're not letting go. This person is having a hard time letting go. And they may be having a long time. They're trying to give the relationship a chance. Probably because of the children. So, I don't know what the hell this is. It feels as though... And it doesn't have to be the children. Some, this person is holding on to a false sense of security. With this person over here. This person has moved on. Or this person is moving on. This person may be dealing with three people. This person is probably dealing with this person and another person. I feel like this person is probably has a new relationship. You see the ships coming in. This person has somebody else coming in into their life that they are communicating with, you know, and they may be falling for this person. Uh, this person over here is kind of ruthless. This person really doesn't isn't thinking about, you know, the fact that that they're hurting this other person by dealing with this three people, um, you know, two people, whatever. Um, Leo, I feel like this person over here is communicating with somebody else and this person. Um, you know, there, there's a third party situation here by the looks of things. And we got this person over here that is making a poor decision, you know, to rebuild something that is false. It's, it wasn't stable. If it wasn't stable in the beginning, what makes you think it's going to be stable in the end? Okay. Um, let's get another card over here. This is it, holding on to a dead end, reluctant to release, reluctant to experience change. And, and, and as long as you hold on to a dead end, you won't have, an, you won't have the new beginning that you truly deserve. You know, I feel as though we have somebody over here that needs to release. Okay. They need to release so that they can live again. And they're having a hard time doing that. Um, they're dealing with a lot of conflict. We have somebody here that is really struggling. It's like they're playing, they're playing games. And I feel like it's this person. This person is playing games with themselves. They have a lot of inner conflict about releasing. And it, and it's, you know, you need to release. This tells me that you need to release. This is false. It's a false sense of security. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. The universe has brought this change about so that you can have a better life. But you are going to have to put in effort to stop playing. You're going to have to put in effort to make better choices. You're going to have to put in effort to release and stop holding on to something that isn't meant to be. Um, I think that you really, really, really... This is Leo's side. This is Leo's side. Leo needs to find their confidence. Leo needs to find their self-esteem. Leo needs to find their strength to create something new. To be that force, to find that force within them, to hold their head up high and say, you know, no, I'm going to create what I am meant to have. So it's like we, we have, this is Leo's side and know that it is. You need to take the lead. You need to take the lead. You need to be the boss. This person over here, they are not investing properly. They haven't invested properly. They still aren't going to invest properly. I think that they are getting into something with somebody else. They are moving in a new direction. Seriously. They may be getting into a new relationship. They're looking for a new relationship. They're speaking. They're communicating with somebody else. You could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer. Whoever you're thinking about this person. They don't care who they hurt. They may be already in a relationship. They may be already, already in a commitment. It's unrealistic. It's unrealistic to hold on to this person who is in another relationship or they're looking for another relationship or 
It's just not meant to be. It's not meant to be. It could be dealing with Gemini. I don't know. It's Gemini Cancer or Gemini Libra Aquarius by the looks of things. Whoever this is, this person, they, you know, it's a false contract, okay? You need to let go of that false contract. There's no compatibility with this person. You're not going to get what you deserve by holding on to this person. This person doesn't fully reciprocate. Somebody, look at these sixes. Sixes are about reevaluation. They're both both reversed. You know, you need to reevaluate. You need to reevaluate your worth here. So whoever this person is, it's like this person is not going to give you the love that you deserve. And I feel like this person isn't going to give you the love that you deserve because they have somebody else. That's why. That's why. It's like they can't accept it. They can't. This person can't see. They can't see because it, it feels like they're already, they're already in a relationship. The Three of Cups is a relationship. They're already in a relationship with somebody. So I feel like, Leo, you need to hold your head up high and you need to not get yourself involved in false contracts because... You don't know your worth. I'm sorry, but that's what I feel like this is. I feel like you guys are needing to see things from a new perspective. You need to stop hanging on to a dead end. You need to uh, deal with the struggle, deal with the pain, and break free from this situation. Whatever it is, I think that you know what it is. So my advice for September is for you to take back control. It's for you to own it. It's for you to to be who you are meant to be. It's to find that confidence and that self-worth and that self-esteem to not play with players, okay? Don't play with a player. Unless you're a player too. Anyway, uh, you could be dealing with the Pisces as well. I don't know who you're dealing with, but whoever it is that you're dealing with, they're keeping you stuck. You have to face this struggle. It's a release. There's a release that needs to happen. This is a release of a false contract. Good luck.